Now that you have a good idea of how to set up that fast fly tarpity system and get a small tarp set up and packed down really quickly, I'm going to show you how I've adapted this method to use with the large 5x5 five five meter tarp. So ones to kind of that you would use for large groups. First of all, I'm going to take my rope, my ridge line, I'm going to go around the back of our tree, and we're going to tie a vink hip. Now, I may well want this a lot higher up the tree if I've got um, groups coming with me so I can use a fork stick and just push it as far as I can reach up the tree and pull it tight. Then I can head over to my other tree that way. Once I've reached the other tree I'm going to use for my ridge line, I'm just going to take a bundle of cord and to get it nice and high I'm just going to throw it over, branch as high as I can and then pull it down. Now if I were to pull on this straight away then I'd be pulling the ridge line up out of my reach. As you can see I'm just going to bring the ridge line down, make a uh, bite the line, fold it over, bring it round and just tie a simple half hitch there and that'll just keep it in place while I mess around with the ridge line. On my ridge line I already have my prussics with a little wooden toggle already attached to it. So just as I said and showed you in a previous video, just drill two holes through and then I've got this toggle that just sits on the ridge line permanently. So I can take middle of my ridge, middle of one edge of the top ridge line and I'm just going to pop it through the toggle there and then go over to the other end and do the same thing. So grabbing the other end of my top, go take it along my ridge line, pop the other toggle through and then I can flip the whole top over the top of the ridge line. You can then adjust the top using the plastic loops until it lies flat against the ridge line. Once we've got the top firmly attached, we can then untie our temporary knot here and then just put our weight behind pulling the top as tight as possible just use your body weight and then we're going to use our torch ridge line knot just on the side of the tree so we go through pull it back on itself come round and we go tie it off with a no knot. Now that we've got our ridge line settled and we've got the top on the ridge line and at a good height, we can then get our guy lines on. I've got all of my guy lines with the same little toggles attached and they just go through, loop in the in edge of the top and then we can go out to whichever tree or rock or stake we're using. We can go out to our tree come back on ourselves and then just a simple dot line hitch there we go we have one corner set up and we can go and do the same thing for the other three corners and there you go that's the top all set up the Probably the most difficult part of this whole process is going to be selecting the right trees and getting the top set up dialed in for your specific site. It might be that you find out you've got wind coming from a certain direction 
and you need to swivel around and choose a different tree or there's a really nice fork in one tree that you might want to put a permanent line in. But really it is quite simple to modify it. As you saw I made good use of those wooden toggles so it's just slip a line in and then pull it straight out and it's all ready to go. Packing down is just as simple and easy and it just goes in reverse. Hopefully you've used some nice slip knots on the taut line hitches and those will come undone easily and then we can start getting the whole top down. When it comes to hanking up the cord with the toggles I like to get that toggle situated at the back of my hand there and then I can just get a good fast bit of rate going with that toggle out of the way which means I'll have a nice compact bundle when I get to the end. Once we've got the main guy lines off we can take our top over onto the other side so it's inside out again. And then to get to a height we can comfortably work at we're just going to drop the whole ridge line down again. If you just loosen it it'll sometimes bind in place without you having to tie a knot. And then we can take one corner off the toggle then just like we do with a small tarp bring it over to our other toggle here, slip it over or we can then start folding it. This is really crucial for managing tops as big as this. Getting that second hand in place by using the toggle on the ridge line is absolutely vital. If you don't want to spend hours sitting on the, in the mud and trying to fold it in place over the top and we can remove our top those toggles and we can fold it again. Here if you have any stakes or anything or any pegs those can go in the center there otherwise we're just going to roll it up loosely. The bigger the top the bigger the bag should be and the top where it's rolled up. And then that can go in the top bag and we'll take down a ridge line and then they'll all be set up, they'll all be packed away and ready to go for next time. And that's it. With just a few modifications a 5x5 tarp can be really simple and easy to take down even if you're working solo. So I hope you'll be able to take some of these tips out there and use them if you need to set up a bigger tarp.